Now, world famous poker great Daniel Negreanu wrote the chapter on triple draw in Doyle Brunson's book. And a point that he makes is that you don't want to leave home without a deuce in most cases. He likes to say that. And also, you should be drawing up instead of down. With those things in mind, let's look at very good starting hands for deuce to seven triple draw. Well, the best of all would be, of course, if you were dealt a seven low. That's not going to happen very often. Very rarely will you be dealt what's called number one right out of the gate. Normally, you're going to be drawing. With that in mind, best to be on a one card draw. Usually, in deuce to seven triple draw, you can stand pat if you catch an eight low. So, some very good hands that you can start with that are four cards, and then you want to catch one. Just imagine that in addition to this draw to an eight low, there's an ace out here that we're going to discard. This is ace, four, three, deuce. You can also draw pretty handsomely with eight, five, three, deuce, or eight, six, four, deuce. Now, for in-depth information from a world champion player about this game, I highly suggest that you read the chapter in Super System 2 written by Daniel Negroni, because he'll show you all of the hands to start with that are good to start with in this game. One thing to be sure of, and that you'll note, is that you don't want to leave the gate, in most cases, with an open-ended straight draw. You want a gap in there, because it does you no good to catch what looks like a 7-low or an 8-low, but it's actually a straight.